Okay, if you're following along with the videos, you have just installed your Flexible Squeeze theme. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to create your license key and actually activate the theme so that you can see it on your website. Now, I'm currently logged into my dashboard for WordPress, but what you're going to want to do first is actually create your license key. And how you're going to do that is you're going to want to Look for the email again that was sent to you by FlexSqueeze that's titled Welcome to FlexSqueeze. Open up that email and uh, then you're going to want to use that information to log into your account. I've already logged into my membership account for FlexSqueeze. And this is going to be the place that you're logged into as soon as you enter in your username and password. After that you're just going to want to scroll down to FlexSqueeze license keys and you're going to be presented with this page that says generate a license key. You're going to want to go down to this entry field and enter in the exact domain that you want added. And I want to add uh, my website carportreview.org and then I'll just click generate key. Click that. Um, I've already actually clicked this generate key because I didn't want to show you the my custom key but um, when you do click this button, you'll find the license key down below, uh, the URL that you've registered. Just copy and paste that code. Um, and this code is basically just to prevent against copyright infringements, uh, to make sure that people that didn't actually purchase the custom theme to allow them to use it. So just be sure not to share that information with anybody and just use it for yourself. Now, after you've copied and pasted your license key, you're going to want to log back into your dashboard. And here I'm going to show you how to actually activate your new theme. Just like last time, we're going to want to go over to the left hand navigation and click on appearance. And then click on the themes button just to make sure. If you look up right here, you'll see your current theme that's installed on your WordPress site. Uh, in this one, I've got just a stock one that was automatically uploaded to my site called uh, 2011 1.2 but if you scroll down you should find the flex squeeze one that we just uploaded in the previous video and then you're going to want to go down to the activate button and then just click on that okay so it looks like we successfully activated the theme as you can see up here and then flex squeeze is now listed as the current theme now if you scroll up to the top hand of your dashboard now, you'll see a little button that says install license will appear. You're going to want to click on that. And then here is the field that you're going to want to copy and paste that exact license code into that I showed you before, um, or that you actually copied and pasted. So I'm going to do that here, and I'm just going to click activate says my code is valid and I'll be redirected in a few seconds. And there we go. We have successfully updated FlexSqueeze version 1.5 and we are ready to start tweaking our WordPress website. Now if you go to your URL now you might need to clear your cookies but um, as you can see, we've still got uh, carportreview.org up. Now if I click return on the browser now, you can see that I've successfully updated the actual theme of the website and it looks a lot different now than it did previously. Now in future videos, I'm gonna show you how exactly you can continue editing this template and making it more your own so that you can make your own custom WordPress websites out of it. Visit startseocompany.com for more videos just like this.